what are condo assignments, how they work, what are the deposits. Okay, five minutes about assignments. I'm Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent with Search Realty and Mortgage Broker with Search Mortgage. And today I'm going to share a bit of information about assignments, what they are and how they work. Okay, what I've done, this is YossiKaplan.com, by the way, here. And when you go through this site, there's a lot of information for real estate investors. Assignments are obviously something that investors like to do because they represent an ability to buy condos for less than their cost uh, from the developer. Okay, so what I did, and there's a whole section of assignment here. You can see listings, articles. All my links are right here on yossi.com. Uh, this is a live link by yossi.searchrealty.co. I'm going to leave a link in the comment uh, in the description. And you will see what assignments are available right now. Now, these are not all the assignments. There's some of them, and this changes daily, okay? Um, if you go on Google and you just type Yossi Kaplan Assignments, hit the videos, you're going to get all these assignment videos. If you want to see all the videos here, I'm just going to let it to the default, and there's even more assignment videos I've put together. But now it's 2021, and I want to go into a little bit of how assignments work with the prices. So remember, assignment is a one-two punch. First of all, there was someone who bought a condo from a developer, and they agreed to pay them. In this example here, the original price, they paid six fifty. dollars Okay, that was in the, in the contract, the agreement of purchase and sale, APS. Okay, they also agreed in the contract, it's the first page, there will be four deposits. The first one will be 5%, and when you get your contract, usually it's broken to 5000 and 5%, less than 5000 The second deposit, say, in three months. The third deposit, say in six months, and the fourth deposit on occupancy when you get your keys. Total of the deposits for this example is 20% or $130,000, which is four times 5% of 650, or four times 32.5, that gives you 130. And the mortgage amount, the, the remaining funds, which are from the original price, less the deposit, are 520, which is 80% of 650. 650 less 130 is 520. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm doing I'm doing this a little quickly. If you have questions, put them in the comments or send me an email. I will respond to you. Okay. Um, now the second portion, which is where the fun begins, is the assignment portion. So the original person that bought the six hundred fifty thousand dollar unit now wants to flip it for whatever reason, and they put it up and they found maybe with Yossi Kaplan, your real estate uh, your your real estate agent, or maybe with another agent or their own doesn't matter, but they found a buyer that would pay seven hundred fifty thousand for this six fifty unit. That means that the profit is a hundred grand. Not only that, they also decided because when you buy or sell the assignment, you have to decide how the payments will work between the two parties. The developer is already out of it, but between these two parties, what am I doing? I bought this unit from the developer, and I'm reassigning, short for assigning the uh, long for assigning uh, this contract to you. So I bought it for six fifty. I'm going to flip it to you for seven fifty. 100 grand is going to be my profit, which is right here, 750 less 650. And of course, I already had 130 in. I already invested that 130. And I agree with you, the person who will buy the assignment for me, that you'll pay me 50,000 now, 50,000 in six months, and that's it. And the rest you can give me when the unit closes, when it registered final closing. Okay. Now, this part here is not negotiable. This is what the developer goes, and you, these days developers said, this is how we want the assignment to, the uh, contract to work. If you wanna buy it, this is the deposit schedule, take it or leave it. Okay, when it comes to assignment, there's a bit more negotiation because the seller of the assignment is not a developer. They don't have that power anymore. So sometimes they will um, agree to a different price. They will agree to various deposit schedules. And that all is done in the process of negotiating for the assignments, okay? Every assignment is different. None of them are the same. Uh, maybe they decided for 150000 here. Anything could happen with the assignments, okay? But I need you to know this. This is very important because that really explains um, how the deposits work. And that's really just tip of the icebergs. Of course, you have other expenses, rebates, legals, closing costs, land for tax, HST, HST rebate, developer rebates, and promotion, all these things coming into consideration for the price of the assignment and how these deposits would work. Okay, so that was a real quick intro to assignment. Send me your questions, post them downstairs in the comments below. In the meantime, this is Yossi Kaplan, happy, happy investing. Anything I can help you with, let me know. Thank you very much.